Alright, uh, we haven't recorded for a very long time but now we are going back or bringing back the weekly uploads for our channel of Calculator Techniques and this one is tackling uh, Electrical Engineering Utilities or Basic Electrical Engineering Okay, and this one is about Kirchhoff's Law We have here our KCL or Kirchhoff's Current Law We also have here our KVL or Kirchhoff's Ver uh, Voltage Law and uh, in this one, I am not going to specify everything. I'm just going to teach you the basic ones that uh, you need as, uh, uh, to solve this problem. And also the calculator technique. So uh, we're using Casio Classwiz FX570EX. But uh, in this calculator, you can use any type of calculator as long as you're following the instructions. Okay. Now, we have your problem in our... Um, our left side. Now let's start with our KCL. Uh, we, sh we, sh we should solve this first. KCL at node A. So um, our rule for KCL is that all current flow going away from our node, it's going to be negative. If they are going towards the node, it's going to be positive. Let's start with I1. I1 is going away to our node A. Okay. Going away to our node A. So you can see this is our node A and this is our I1. So it's going to be negative 1 or negative I1. Next, our I2 is also going away to the right side even though our node A is at the left side. So it's going to be negative I2. Our I3 is also going downwards. Our node is at the upper point which is it means that it's going away. So it's going to be negative I3. Then equal to zero. Okay. Now we need to work on our voltage. So, uh, Kirchhoff's ver uh, voltage law. We have uh, pre-selected loops. Loops E B D A, A B D. Then going back to our starting point, which is A. All right. Now let's start with our um, four ohms battery. So from the positive part going to the negative part. So from here going to here. It means uh, from positive to negative, uh, or it means uh, there is a voltage drop in our electricity or in our voltage. So we're gonna write it as negative four volts. Okay. Uh, by the way, we are going on a um, in a um, clockwise direction. Okay. Next one, we have here our ten volts, or rather, a uh, ten ohms resistor, and it has the same direction as our I three. So this is I3. Um, it, it means that if we are going the same way, it's gonna be negative. So it's gonna be negative 10 I3. Okay, you're following? Now, we are going to our voltage or our battery here, which is 6 volts. So from positive to negative. So you're gonna write negative 6. And we're going on our 7 ohms resistor. So our 7 ohms resistor is counterflowing overflow. So this one is going counterclockwise. We are going clockwise. So if they are going against the same way or they are going salubong in Tagalog, it's gonna be positive. Okay? So it's gonna be positive 7, then I1. 7 I1 and equal to 0. Now, let's move for our forward to our KVL loop ACBA, A, C, uh, rather, A, C, uh, B, A. Okay, so we're gonna go on a uh, clockwise motion again. So let's start at our battery. So negative, uh, negative to positive. So we're starting here, then gonna go here. So negative to positive, so it's gonna be positive 4. So just write 4 volts. We have in here our 5 ohms. So 5 ohms of I2 is going in the same direction. It means negative is... It's, uh, I mean, rather, uh, it means that it's gonna be in a negative side or a negative sign since, yeah, we're going the same way. So it's gonna be negative 5 I2. Now, let's move forward to our node C. And after our node C, we have here our 8 volts. So 8 volts from negative to positive. So it's gonna be plus 8V. Now, let's move forward to our 10 ohms resistor. So we're gonna go counterflowing 
again on our i3 this is the direction it's going down we're going in this side so this is the sign of i3 this is our sign for the flow of direction of our diagram so it's counter flowing now we're gonna write positive for that one then i3 is equal to zero now how we're gonna use caltech law on this one we're gonna write our own table so i would like to call this one um my d tab okay d tab i would want to name this one as d tab why d tab it's determinants table okay um, this is the determinant's way of solving this type of problem. Oh, so um, let's copy this one into our table and how we're gonna do this. Uh, all of our letter i or flow of i current, uh, we're gonna replace it as one. So I negative i one is just negative one. Negative i two is just negative one. Negative i three is just negative one. Then copy the zero. So this one is all the voltage. This all this one is uh the I1 column, the I2 column, and the I3 column. Okay, next one. Negative 4 volts. Uh we must combine first our voltage. Negative 4 volts plus negative 6 volts is equal to negative 10 volts. But we have a rule that we must transpose the value, so it's gonna be just 10. Okay, we're following. We're just transposing the value. It should be negative 10 volts, but we're transposing it to the right side. So it's going to be 10. We need to change the sign. Then negative 10 I3. So it's going to be negative 10. Positive 7 I1. So it's going to be 7. We don't have any I2 in our KVL loop ABDA. So we're going to write 0. Next. KVL loop ACBA, we're gonna write our equation. Okay, positive 4 plus positive 8 is gonna be 12. But we must transpose it to the right side, meaning positive 12 is gonna be negative 12. Okay, now negative 5i2, just copy the signs or the, the, the values. Negative 5i2 is gonna be negative 5 in our table. Positive 10i3 is gonna be 10. We don't have any I1 in this KVL loop ACBA, so it's gonna write it 0 on this one. So now let's write I1, I1, I2, and I3. Okay, so um, this is how we're gonna do our call tech technique. Okay, I'm gonna point it, the phone towards our answer. <clears throat> now, starting, um, is the uh, basic. Uh, View of our calculator, just press the men menu or mode. Then you're gonna see all the selection. You need to go to equation or function and select this one. Select number one, simul equation. Select number of unknowns. We are looking for I1, I2, and I3. So it means we are looking for three unknowns. Just type it in. Then we're gonna just type this one on our calculator. So this is the x's, the y's, and the z's, and this is the answer. Okay, so uh, negative one. Uh, I'm typing the first row uh, first. A uh, negative one again, and a uh, negative one. Then for the last one, zero. Next one, seven. Uh, seven zero negative ten. Seven zero um negative ten. Then ten. Third row. 0, negative 5, 10, and negative 12. 0, negative 5, 10, and negative 12. Now, we have here our answers. Uh, for the first one, so for our I1 or our X, we have 6 over 31, or we need it in decimal form. So it's going to be 0 0.19 amp. Whatever you like or amperes. Yep. Next one, we have here our y, which is 0 0.67. 0 0.67. Um. Okay. When we have our last one, negative 0 0.86. And uh, there we go. That is all of our um, answers. Yep. Ah.
0.86 amps okay so uh, that is our answers uh, for uh, this uh, sample problem uh, credits to my professor um, Dr. Ariel Magat the uh, chairman of uh, electrical engineering department and our professor in electrical engineering utilities uh, for giving us uh, this seat work last uh, um, I forgot the date but yeah anyways if you have other um you have questions other questions uh, you can chat me in my facebook account uh so uh i'm gonna show it on the screen uh, for a while uh you can chat me on my facebook account or you can just type it in in the comment section if you have any questions uh that you would like us to answer or make a caltech solution of so uh, also, if you have uh, floor plans that you want to, you know, just commi commission it or you don't have the time to make your floor plans or other projects or assignments, you can just tap me or uh, some of my friends. So, yeah. Uh, we, and anyways, we are just located in the campus, so you can s easily find us. So, uh, this is my Facebook account. Um, yeah. This video is probably gonna be <laughs> no edit since... I'm also VC, but yeah, that is my Facebook account. You can just, um, you can just, um, search it in the Facebook if you have any other questions, uh, and if you need tutorials on your BSD or on your AutoCAD, so yeah, you can just ask me. But anyways, this is the answer. Okay, so, um, stay frosty. Again, this is the type of calculator we're using: Casual FX. Uh, seven, uh, 570 EX has this, but you can still use any type of calculator for this type of problem. It won't matter anyway since uh, we're still uh, we're, most of the calculators uh, right now is like they have a uh, dysfunction uh, in them. So yeah, you can also check our all uh, other videos uh, if you're wondering. Okay, so I think that's it. So uh, thanks for listening. Uh, share it to your classmates. Yeah, we need more subscribers. Okay, goodbye.